go and read the history between the Igbos, between the Igbos and Kukuyo and the Igbos and Liu especially. Just read the similarities in culture, read the similarities in behavior. You will see that we have a spiritual background with care. And this is the reason why the marriage between Igbo men and Kenyan ladies are very, very successful. This connection we have with Kenyans can only be explained because I myself, when I met someone, she just become like a sister to me. I didn't know her from Adam, just my classmate from there. You know, the connection we had was like as if we have known before from Adam. We relate very well. She called me my sister from another mother, you know. So the connection is not just about the opposite sex in terms of marriage. Sisterly love, brotherly love that cannot be explained. My name is Makia. That is my Kenyan name. I am an Igbo princess. And Makia is my royal name in Kenya. A lot of you used to ask, why is it that Igbo people and Kenyan people, when they get married, they are married last? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, guys. I live in Germany. Okay, and uh, some time ago, I made a video and I was begging Kenyans. I was begging Kenyans, Uganda, especially Kenyans. Ah, I was begging them to leave my brothers. And I was, you know, many people were thinking that that's, that, that was so hard. That was things that, you know, they were saying, why would you say that this world had developed and all that? And you will not understand the reason why I said that. The reason why I said that is that when you go to evil occasions here in Germany, anywhere in Germany, I don't mean any other place in the world, but here in Germany, for example, you will see that the Igbos, the Igbo men, half of them inside that location, their wives are from Leo and Kukuyo. They are from Kenya. I am telling you the truth. You will see an Igbo man and Igbo woman, they get married. Many at times, when they come here, the marriage does not last. The marriage does it's not. See, it's not a, I'm married to my Igbo king. I love him. He loves me. I am not going anywhere. We die here. <laughs> Yes, but there are some that does not work out. Okay, but one thing that I have come to see, or is the fact is, among all the tribes, among all the countries in the whole world, there are people, there are these people that when Nigerian, sorry, not Nigerian, Igbo men marry their women, when their women are married to Igbo men, that marriage is like, is like rock. It doesn't break. You will see that Igbo men, they married um, other tribes. And then they will still have Igbo wife. It's not when they are married to Leo, women from Leo and Kukuyo. This is because if you go back to history, don't tell me to go and read the history. Because me that I'm telling you now, I have read the history. And don't ask me about the history. I am not a historian. And it's not me that will come here to come and do what? Come and start explaining to you all the history that I read. So it is your responsibility to go and read the history between the Igbos, between the Igbos and Kukuyo and the Igbos and Liu especially. Just read the similarities in culture, read the similarities in behavior. You will see that we have a spiritual background with care. And this is the reason why the marriage between Igbo men and Kenyan ladies are very, very successful. A lot of people say, uh, Igbo princess, or Makia, why do you have Kenyan band? You see, before I was coming from a place of jealousy, two years, three years ago, excuse me, I always ask myself, ah, this is my brother again, Kenya, this one, Kenya. I said, ah, this one pass nyash, this one don't pass it, not because, um, not because they get nyash. No, it don't pass nyash. Don't, I know that Kenyans, ah, <laughs> They find you, they can know. You see, if I was an Igbo man <laughs> and <laughs> I for marry Kenyans, a Kenyan woman I go marry, you don't pass like that. So a way to a man's heart is food. <laughs> that word, word is when an Igbo man is married to an Igbo woman, then a way to that Igbo man's heart is food. The way to an Igbo man's heart. When he is married to a Kenya, is this? Come on, it's this. So because we're coming from a place of ah ah, now only them as in why, why? But well, we love each other, like we connect, we connect as in when you see an Igbo 
people with mm -hmm. chaos. We connect like we connect. Pa, pa. We, we connect when you see that we connect. Let me tell you something. Kenyans have the same hustling spirit as the Igbos. I don't know about their men. No. I do not mean to say that because I have not really seen a lot of Kenyan men. I think Kenyan men don't travel a lot. So that is what they don't have in common with Igbo men. Igbo men travel, Igbo travel a lot. I've not really seen Kenyan men here. I've not seen a lot of them. I think they prefer to stay back home. I think they prefer that. But they are women. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> it's like the way you used to say, if you go to any city, not high, you not find an Igbo man. Leave that city. That city is not prosper uh, prosperous. Ah, if you go to anywhere, you don't find Igbo people. And chaos run that city, nothing they there. Nothing is there. I'm telling you. We are related. Go and read history. We are related. When it comes to enjoyment, fun, play, hard work, hard work. I don't go grief for anybody. <laughs> it did body, it did our body too. So don't be jealous, don't be asking yourself, ah, you more people with this Kenyan people. Are they related? That is why things work out for us. Don't go and tell me to go and do the research. Go and do the research by yourself. You will see. So Kenyans, you know I love you guys. I love Kenyans. And Kenyans love me. You know that. So for each and every one of us that are married to other tribe, you are also welcome. But if you want, if you are saying that your money does not last, your relationship does not last, go and ask Kenyans how they were able to hold an evil man to their hearts. Without food, even we Nigerians, even we Igbo women, we don't know how. I don't know how. I am still here cooking Nigerian food every day with Igbo food, Igbo food, Igbo, just to get into his heart. Kenyan women will come and they don't know how to cook Nigerian food, Igbo food, and they will still get to the same man's heart. They will tell me, they will tell me their secrets. I shall come back.